Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lonesome Hollow Kitchen. Uh, got an Instapot, Instant Pot, and uh, looking for recipe for our how long to cook southern style green beans. Now all I could find online on YouTube and asking around was to steam green beans. You know, it takes two or three minutes. It doesn't take long at all. Southern style green beans though on the stove take about four hours. You have to cook them till they're mushy. Uh, so here I'm going to start off. I've got my Instant Pot on saute and I put some bacon fat in there. Uh, so it's smoking a little bit, pardon that. I've got an onion uh, chopped up into eight pieces. I've got a couple, three cloves of garlic. I've got two strips of ripe brown bacon cut up into little squares. We're going to dump that in there. To render that bacon out a little bit. Get those onions letting off some juice. Now after this cooks, you won't hardly recognize the onions or anything. This is going to cook what I just put in there plus this bowl of green beans. This is about mm, three cups of green beans. I have fresh stringless green beans. I just snapped them, didn't have to cut the ends off of them. And they're going to cook all this for about 35 minutes. And then I'm going to open it up, release the pressure, open it up, and add some diced up potato. Put the cover back on, let it come back up to pressure. Cook that with the potatoes in there for another 10 minutes. Now I usually let it set for about 10 minutes and naturally re release. And then if it's not done, I'll hit the manual release. I just want to get some of the fat working out of the bacon, get a little color on it. Boil that saute on high, it does get hot. Alright, I'm going to let this here go for a few minutes. We'll be back. These have been in here sauteing for about five minutes. Getting a little bit of color, rendering off some fat. And that's good, they're going to cook plenty when I turn this on. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of broth. You can use beef stock, chicken stock, whatever you've got, even a combination, which is what I'm going to do here. I want to deglaze the bottom of that a little bit. Pour some chicken broth in there. I've got my green beans. And I didn't grill these, it's too early in the season, so they probably came from Chile or Mexico or something. But they're good. Put that to the side. Got my green beans in there. Uh, now you want these seasoned really well. So I'm going to put a good tablespoon of salt in there. Also about a dozen or so, maybe 20, 30 whole peppercorns. A dash of ground cayenne red pepper. A little bit of heat. And just a little bit of ground pepper. Okay, we got that. Now, stir all that up. Oops. Cover with the chicken broth. I just had a little bit left in this can from a couple of days ago. So. But you want to kind of cover the green beans just so they're covered. So this beef stock. And now when you steam green beans or cook them most other ways, green beans don't have a whole lot of flavor in there. If you put salt and pepper and things in the broth when you cook it or steam it or whatever, you know, it's just not really on it. You know these are done when they're, they're really, really tender and you can take a bite of green bean and you taste the seasoning in the green bean. It's actually made its way into the cells of the green bean. The salt, bacon, onion, garlic. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna 
Now this isn't a class on how to run an Instapot. If you're watching this, you should already know. I uh, had this on saute. I'm gonna turn it off. Grab my lid. Lock my lid in. And I'm gonna put it on manual for 35 minutes. Now most any other vegetable would just turn to you blah, but uh, green beans hold up pretty good for that time. All right, it should be coming on, telling me it's ready to go. There it is. It's in the sealing position, not the venting position. So it's gonna take a while for this to come up to temp. Once it comes up to pressure, that's when the 35 minute countdown starts. Like I said, I will then release it, add my diced potatoes, and check the broth for the, see if it's seasoned well enough. Another 10 minutes, we'll be done. Okay, it's been 35 minutes, I'm releasing the pressure. And that didn't sound like it was already released. I don't think I got my knob turned sideways enough. There we go. Got me two small potatoes diced up. There's only two or three servings of these green beans in here. So, you know, almost a, a potato piece would be just fine for a serving. You always want to read the directions on these things. This is a pressure cooker. Uh, they can be explosive. They can be dangerous. They can... They can cause your skin to peel off. They can cause bones to break, houses to explode and catch on fire. Uh, so always read your directions. There's some foods that you cannot self-release like this. They will foam up starchy foods and stuff. They will foam up. You can clog up this vent. And then as it's heating up, it won't be able to release the pressure where it needs to. And it will explode. So always read your warning labels. Know what you're doing. Watch a few YouTube videos, you know, that's a good idea. Watch a bunch of them, that way, you know, you can weed out some information from other information. Because there's a lot of false stuff out there. Come on, got to wait for my little valve here to drop down. But you all already know that. And it's winding down. Hey, kitty, kitty. Kitty cat smells bacon in beef broth. Ow, ow. Come on now, release. Toop, there it went. It's now safe to take off. Here's what you got. Yeah, you still tell that the onions are onions. But these are very soft and tender. I'm gonna taste it here real quick. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, I'm gonna dump my potatoes in. And, you know, it's your Instant Pot, so you can do with it what you want. On this recipe, there's nothing to adhere by. I normally dice up or even put whole mushrooms in it. There we go. And I'm going to set manual. Turn it off, set manual for 10 minutes. Do, 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 do. All right, it'll pair itself on here in a second. Ten more minutes, we'll be back to check on the potatoes. I'm sure everything will be done, and it'll be ready to eat. The ten minutes for the potatoes has finished. By the way, oh, while I'm fogging up my lens here, if you all like my videos, be sure and hit the like button and subscribe to me. It really helps get the videos out there. I appreciate it. You can also find me on Facebook. I'll put my 
my Facebook thing in the description box below. Along with any other pertinent information, if you want to purchase this Instant Pot, you can uh, just click on the link in the description box and it'll be there. There we go, look at this. Potatoes are perfectly done. The broth itself has a whole lot of flavor. So we don't put these on a plate around here, we put them in a bowl and it's pretty much a meal. There you go. Mr. Pot Southern Style Green Beans. Enjoy.